Okay, um, good evening ladies and gentlemen. This is the more final time that I'm actually greeting you good evening uh, this, this evening. It's chilly, yes. Um, sorry for this choice of venue. Um, it, it makes it a little difficult, but then we have braved it, of course, and we're all here because we love classical music. Uh, so I welcome you to the third uh, concert of this year's series of five concerts in association with the Consulate General of France in Kolkata and the Alias Française du Bengal. So the Victoria Memorial extends a very warm, which we all need, uh, greetings to all of you for this evening. Um, we have Mr. Samarendra Kumar with us today, uh, who could not be here due to his very busy schedule for the last two sessions. Uh, he's the Secretary and Curator of the Victoria Memorial Hall, so I would like to invite Mr. Kumar to formally welcome everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Sagnik, for this introduction. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, it's really pretty cool today as compared to Calcutta Standard. I think uh, uh, we all are experiencing this. So, but uh, on behalf of Victoria Memorial Hall, it's my great pleasure to welcome you all here for this uh, uh, third uh, classical concert in the series of five uh, music concerts that we are going to uh, going to organize, in fact, uh, uh, this year with the Consul General of France in Calcutta and the Alliance uh, Francas de Bengal. And uh, I would like to thank uh, especially uh, the Consul General of uh, uh, France who is here, uh, Mr. Didier Talpin, and also the Director uh, Nicola Frank Fasino, the Director of Alliance Francas, and all the guests who are present here. You know, this Victoria Memorial Hall has been uh, venue for many concerts like this, and uh, uh, I, th I heard that the last two concerts which I missed was very a grand success, especially the one which uh, uh, Mr. Telpen himself uh, performed in the Darbar Hall. So uh, great round of applause for Mr. Telpen who is there, and uh, with his uh, performance which was there. Uh, we have been doing uh, this uh, such kind of performance and hope to continue this uh, collaboration in future also. Uh, I'm pleased to welcome two uh, artists here, uh, Justin McCarthy and Nadine Jo Cresto, to this stage here in the Victoria Memorial Hall in this eastern quadrangle. And uh, hope that today with their performance, uh, it's going to be a warm performance here and everybody will enjoy this. Thank you very much on behalf of Victoria Memorial Hall once again and hope this evening will be a great evening for all of us. Thank you. Shakespeare said, if music be the language of love or something, the food for love, play on, of course, yes, I'm bad with quotes, sorry. Um, but the music is incomplete and obviously impossible without the musicians. So I would now request uh, Mr. Nicola Fasino, the director of the Alias Francaise du Bengal, to introduce the general concept of today, this evening's concert, and also to introduce the artists uh, who are playing this evening, Mr. Fasino. Thank you, Mr. Consul General, Mr. The Director of Victoria Memorial Hall, ladies and gentlemen and music enthusiasts. Bonsoir, good evening, and thank you uh, to be there and to make this venue warmer, thanks to your presence. So tonight, bienvenue, this is the third concert of the second musical season of our festival. Uh, harmonious collaboration, as usual, with, uh, between uh, Alliance Française, uh, Victoria Memorial Hall, and the Consulate General of France in Kolkata. Uh, tonight, we continue this journey with a duo of piano through a repertoire from the delicate nuances of uh, François Couperin's baroque elegance to the impressionistic colors of Claude Debussy, the vivid imaginary of Maurice Ravel and the virtuosic brilliance of Camille Saint-Saëns. Let me introduce you the, our performers for the evening. First, Nadine, Nadine Jocrasto, 
It's not the first time that she came in Kolkata. She's a young Stenway artist, initiated her piano uh, uh, at the age of nine under the guidance of Mirna Fernandez. Her remarkable talent was recognized when she graduated with a Master of Arts, earning prestigious awards for her outstanding work of achievements. Nadine has performed across England and India in solo and chamber music concert. Her participation in master classes conducted by renowned musicians has enriched her artistic expression. Tonight, she's not alone because not one, but two pianists. And the second one, but not the least, is Justine McCarthy. He's not only a gift musician, but also a dancer, instructor, and choreographer. He started his musical uh, also experience at the tender age of five, under the guidance of Ruth Clippers. Later, he continued his studies with notable mentors, such as Louis Nagel of the University of Michigan, and Mac McCray at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music. So tonight, we are privileged to witness both of them in the duo performance and uh, to appreciate uh, uh, the different expression of the, this, this piano, this configuration from baroque elegance to contemporary virtuosity. Uh, Utfel, thank you to Mr. Kumar, the director of the Victoria Memorial Hall and his team, all his team, uh, the team of Alliance Francaise also, Mr. Didier Talpin, the Consul General, and our sponsor tonight, Century Reply and Perlis Hotel. So thank you so much to be there, despite the, the call, but I'm sure that uh, uh, your presence and your applause will uh, make the atmosphere warmer. Merci beaucoup. Certainly, we look forward to the warmth, Mr. Fasino. Um, I would just quickly invite the artists for today on the stage and Mr. Kumar, uh, the Direct Secretary Curator of the Victoria Memorial Hall, to felicitate the artists uh, right now. Mr. Justin McCarthy. And Ms. Nadine Yocrasto. And of course, um, our heartfelt thanks goes out to the, uh, not only to the Alias Francaise de Bengal, but also the Consulate General of France in Kolkata and the man behind it, the Honorable Consul General of France, Mr. Didier Talpa. So I would, uh, although he seems engrossed in reading, but I would uh, uh, invite him on the stage to sort of introduce the event for today uh, as is customary. Dear friend, today we'll get a full slice of French music. And in reality, we'll even get two slices, very different from each other. On one hand, we'll have Debussy and Ravel. On the second hand, Saint-Saëns. Let's start with Debussy and Ravel first-class top musicians of the end of the 19th and beginning of the 20th century, they represent what we call the impressionism in music. Also, they were not very keen with this adjective, with this name of impressionism. Uh, as you know, Impressionism is a, uh, an artistic movement which developed in painting, you know, at the very end of the 19th century, somehow in reaction toward the academicism. The big names were people like Manet and Monet, 
And if we have to give, maybe not a definition, but some, some clue words about Impressionism, we will mention color, movement, impressions, of course, smooth forms, and a certain form of sophistication. Debussy and Ravel, let's start with Debussy, which is a little bit older than Ravel, and with this petite suite, uh, which you will listen to in a few minutes. It was first performed in 1889, so exactly in the middle of this Impressionism movement I evoked, by Debussy, played by Debussy himself as a pianist. It was called a simple pay, play, piece, sorry, the publisher asked uh, Debussy to write something for skilled amateurs. As you will see, our interprets of tonight are much more than skilled amateurs. And it requires really a full talent to give the colors only with a piano. Later, an orchestration was made of these pieces, not by Debussy himself, but by a friend, composer, but for the moment, you have only the black and the white keys of the piano, not the sound of the flute, the horn, the violin, to give the colors of Impressionism. At the end of the 19th century, all arts joined together. And in fact, the name of the first movement of this little suite are taken from poems from Paul Verlaine, another great name of the end of the 19th French century. Now we move to Ravel. Ravel, again, we have a very charming suite, which is called Mother Goose, which was actually written for children and which first, which was premiered by two children aged six and seven. Wow. The subtitle of this suite, because in fact it's another suite of five movements, it's very simply five children pieces. We are in the world of children and fairy tales. And two of the five pieces are taken from uh, somebody, or let's say, written after a very famous writer, but from the 17th French century, whose name is Charles Perrault. He wrote, you know, some very, very famous uh, pieces as The Sleeping Beauty, Blue Bard, Cinderella, Donkey Skin, Puss in, Boat, in Boots, etc., etc. So this is a very simple, if I may say, charming word, the word of the childhood. Saint Sans now. It's a completely different word. First of all, Saint Sans is a representative of the French Romanticism, which is the artistic movement just before, you know, let's say, and the half of the 19th century till almost the end of the 19th. And then the, romantic, the uh, Impressionism in France would took over. But you know, with Saint-Saëns, it's a little bit complicated because he has such a long life. He was born when Chopin had still 12 years to live, and he died after Debussy. Also, he was the best representative of an artistic movement which was before Debussy. So this is due to this long age. He was an exceptional pianist, organist, and conductor, and probably the main works uh, uh, which are performed all over the world are the Symphony with Organ and the Sanson and Dalila Opera. We are now not at all, not anymore in the world of childhood and innocence, but rather in that of adult humor and even some cruelty. Just to mention, this work, so he brought for private use, and he banned any publishing before his death. Why? Because 
he make fun of a lot of people, even himself, and present them, especially composer or musical critics, as a little bit ridiculous. So it was maybe not dangerous, but a little bit tricky. And along the pieces of this again suite of 10, 11 movements, you will recognize uh, tunes from Berlioz, <clears throat> from Rossini, even from Offenbach, the famous French cancan. But each time he uses the famous tune, but then he presents it in more or less a ridiculous but quite funny form. For example, one of the movements is called the animal with animals, sorry, with long ears. These are the donkeys, and these are the musical critics of his time. A very funny piece among all the 10 or 11 is called very simply Pianists. And it describes, you know, the very young pianist practicing scales and finger exercises. The original edition gave even instruction to the interprets to imitate beginners. So we can say that at least he had some self-humor. To start the concert, you know, uh, we will go in the past. This, this is a very charming piece which has nothing to see either with Romanticism or with Impressionism. This is a piece from the 17th century, so the century of Charles Perrault, Cinderella, etc. This is a piece from Louis Couperin, who is considered as the father of the keyboard music, and some composer like Ravel has a high respect for him. He wrote, actually, a piece dedicated to the Couperin family, because it was as the Bach in Germany, a dynasty of French musicians. So, I wish you now a very good musical journey, a very good time with the French music, the French spirit, the French atmosphere, maybe we could say with the French touch. Believe me, I really hate to come back up again on the stage uh, before the music starts, but uh, I, I invite everybody to just play a game. Uh, that's uh, take out your phones out of your pockets and purses and uh, bags and wherever you have them stored, and let's all together put them in silent airplane or, airplane or switched off mode, whichever is your favorite, um, so that not to disturb the performance today. Uh, also, a gentle reminder that uh, in case you're taking videos of the performance, it might disturb the or disrupt the experience of the p people sitting to your front and the side. So please be mindful of that. It's generally advised not to do it because the event as always is being videographed and will be available on the Victoria Memorial Hall uh, YouTube channel anyway. So uh, within a reasonable period of time. So uh, with that, I will uh, just shut up and let the music speak. Thank you.
Now I think it's working. Um, good evening, all of you. Both Nadine and I are uh, very enchanted to be here with all of you, and we'd like to thank the Victoria Memorial and the uh, Embassy of France and the Alliance Francaise for inviting us here this evening. And it's not the Embassy of France, sorry, it's the Consul General. <laughs> and I'd just like to say a few words about the next piece. As um, the Consul General explained, it's called the Mother Goose Suite by Ravel, and it's uh, five pieces, each based on a well-known fairy tale. And so the very first piece is Sleeping Beauty, when the entire castle and all the people and all the animals in the gardens around it and the forest have been asleep for a hundred years. So this is the first piece, the Pavan of Sleeping Beauty. Okay, it takes two times. The next piece is Tom Thumb. So it's a little boy who goes wandering in the forest and you'll hear the music, how it meanders, that's Tom Thumb uh, roaming through the forest and he leaves little breadcrumbs along the path thinking that those will help him get home. But when he tries to get home, he finds that the birds have eaten them up. So please listen for the birds, they come in very subtly. They don't want him to know that he's, they've eaten his crumbs. So this is Tom Thumb.
The next piece is a fairy tale which is not really very well known, I think, in the English-speaking world. It's about a Chinese, a miniature Chinese empress who roams about the world with a green serpent. And when they get stranded on a desert island, they are entertained by little fairies and elves who descend into the gardens and take twigs and uh, flower petals and almond shells and walnut shells and make little musical instruments and play for the empress who's been uh, condemned to roam the world aimlessly. The next piece is uh, Beauty and the Beast. You'll hear a little waltz, which is beauty, and then you'll hear some ominous steps, which is beast coming to meet beauty. And he tries to get her to marry him, but she refuses. She try he tries to kiss her, but he's rebuffed. She goes away. She comes back again. You can hear them dancing together. And then you hear 
one very rapturous kiss finally taking place, and then you hear the spell being broken, and the beast becoming the Prince Charming, who will eventually marry Beauty. And in the last piece, we're back to Sleeping Beauty, and the spell has been broken uh, through the graces of the good fairy godmother, and the prince and Sleeping Beauty kiss, and then at the end, you'll hear marriage bells.
The last set of pieces, as uh, DJ already mentioned, is the Carnival of the Animals by Saint-Saëns, uh, supposedly inspired by a visit to the zoo. And you'll hear lions roaring and elephants uh, crashing about, and you'll hear hens and slow tortoises and cuckoos and a whole aviary of birds and a whole aquarium of aquatic creatures and amongst others. And there's one, as Didi already mentioned, one species which stands out from the rest, and that is piano players or pianists. You'll hear them in their very gauche attempts at first learning the preliminary exercises, and then by the end of the piece, they've improved a bit. And then at the very end, it's, it's as if all of the animals have gathered together to have one giant party or carnival. So this is Carnival of the Animals by Saint-Saëns.
think there are requests. I think there are requests for Encore. Oh, for this one, for this one. <laughs> if I'm not wrong, yes. Okay. Yes, there are. Of course, uh, the dil mange more, even after all the encore, but um, we can't really keep you waiting in this biting cold uh, for the Calcutta weather. Um, so thank you everybody who's been here through this, uh, through this concert. We've been overwhelmed by your presence and uh, hopefully the music has warmed you up, the French touch. Uh, in this music has, has warmed you up um, and that's, uh, that's the concert for this evening. Uh, we will see you again, we hope and we sincerely uh, wish to have you again on the 12th of February, if I'm not very wrong, uh, for the next uh, concert which, is, uh, which I understand is uh, romance music, is in French cinema romance music. Of course, we all know the real location behind the selection of the date, that's the 14th of February. Uh, so we look forward to that and we also have the, the last of the series which is on the 11th of March in order to celebrate uh, Women's Day as was, uh, as was the case last year. Um, so thank you everybody for coming and for being with us for this wonderful concert and a big round of applause to the performers today, Justin McCarthy and Nadine Shokrasto. A warm thanks to the secretary and curator, Victoria Memorial Hall 
and we shall not be that kind of self-serving. So we also uh, express our sincere thanks to uh, the Honorable Consul General, uh, Monsieur Didier Talpin, and the Director of the Nicolas Francois de Bengal, Mr. Nic uh, Nicola Fasino, and all the volunteers and helpers who have made this event uh, possible. Uh, just a gentle uh, reminder, advertisement, however you take it from the Victoria Memorial Hall, is that as you move out through the uh, East Gate, you would see the grand venue of the Kolkata Literary Meet uh, being set up. It should be ready by tomorrow morning. Um, and uh, so tomorrow is the grand inauguration of the Kolkata Literary Meet, one of the gala events, not only of the city, but also one of the largest of the Victoria Memorial Hall. Uh, we inaugurated by the Honorable Governor of West Bengal and Mr. Abdul Razak Gurna, the Nobel Laureate from Tanzania from a couple of years back. So um, hope to see some of you there, if not all of you, uh, and all your friends, uh, and uh, good evening and good night. Thank you.